Guys, welcome back to Talk Crypto. Uh, can you believe it? It's my second video of the day. <laughs> um, the reason I thought I'd jump on here, um, hey, listen, guys, quickly, if you like the video, just give us the thumbs up. It doesn't cost you anything. Really, really appreciate And hit the subscribe. Again, it doesn't cost you anything. Give a, give a nice you channel a bit of... Uh, bit of support you know we we really appreciate it i really appreciate it should i say i don't know who we is it's just me um so uh yeah quick one i did a quick video talking about um cardano um but i this i wanted to do another video talking about it a little bit more um and sometimes the arguments against anything other than bitcoin um but I'm going to hold that for another video because there's a there's a new bit of information that just came to light. And I thought it was really important to share with you. If I can drive. Uh, <laughs> um, so yeah, this uh, for, again, this is one take. So apologise for the rawness and the bumpy roads that we we have sometimes in the UK. Um, yeah. So big news. I, didn't re I knew it was coming, but I didn't realise it was uh, coming tomorrow. So today is uh, Monday the 29th, I think it is from memory, um, of April. Bitcoin is, from looking at earlier this morning, about 62. It might have changed since then. Um, yeah, so the spot Bitcoin ETF and Ethereum ETF is going live tomorrow in uh, in Hong Kong. So... Yeah, I didn't realise it was uh, it was coming around so quickly. So I just want to let you guys know, um, and and I didn't realise actually how much of a big a big deal it is. I know you know when everything when we hear about a spot Bitcoin ETF happening in America, it's it's a big deal, isn't it? Everything in America is a big deal. Um, obviously, it's a big country. <laughs> um, but what I didn't realise was. The crypto market is actually bigger in Asia than it is in America and Europe combined. So that's really, really interesting. Now, I guess the American spot, spot Bitcoin ETF potentially might have been appealing to those sort of uh, investors who would uh, who'd be investing in yeah, it's a stock market, etc., within the, in America, um, and obviously the American market is much much bigger well, than than anywhere else. So whether it's going to be a, a huge influx of uh, of tr more traditional investors in Asia utilizing the ETF like there were like there was with in America, again we don't really know if that was the case of people were just. Um, I don't know, maybe de-risking their own sort of portfolios from holding it, you know, there's a risk of holding it yourself or, or uh, holding on a um, on an exchange. You know, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what the makeup of a lot of the ETF buyers were. Um, I'm sure, you know, again, I haven't spent a huge amount of time looking into it. Maybe if you know, put something in the comments, it'd be interesting to hear. Um, I suspect it's just a lot of speculation. Um, and not, you know, we, you know, we're not on the ground, obviously, dealing with the uh, with the inquiries and, and of, you know, and the clients and things like that. So, don't know. But it is interesting that Asia is a bigger crypto market than both America and Europe. And to consider what kind of impact it may have, and I don't want to get everyone sort of uh, hopes up. Um, and, you know, and expectations and thinking that things are going to suddenly change. Um, so it's just a, it's just an observation, something to be aware of more than anything. So that's happening tomorrow. Um, I'm just driving behind a Porsche, which is quite nice. And um, yeah, just change the subject there. And uh, he was just cruising and he's now getting a, a boost on the bit, so I'll just follow him. Um, I'm just trying to see what I think it's a is it a 991. I think it's a 991. There we go, for you car nerds out there. there. Um, yeah, so I got off topic there. What's also interesting, guys, and you know, I've talked about being in the sideways action. Um, I'd highly recommend you subscribe and watch um, the Bitcoin family, um, Diddy. Uh, he, you know, he's a, uh, if you haven't heard of him, just, just go and check him out. Um, basically, he's, he's uh, 
he sold all, sold up everything and um, his whole family basically just become you know, digital nomads effectively and does his videos and talks about Bitcoin all the time and yeah good guy gives a lot of uh, good insights um, he's been in the space for a while but this the, the point of that is to say that he um, he was he did a, his last video was talking about how basically we've been a sideways action for the last 60 odd days um, which we have and and that's something I've been sort of talking about in some of my last videos but the, the point being that the last time we were in this sort of period of going you know sideways for 60 odd days um, I can't remember when but it wasn't that long ago and we were um, I think it was about 65 days that we were going sideways before it took a big big jump up so whether we see that in conjunction with this ETF uh, go live in Hong Kong, um, whether that could be a catalyst for a jump to 80,000, you know, we'll have to wait and see. But yeah, just something to have in the back of our minds. Um, but again, you know, if I'm honest, guys, it makes no odds. You know, for me, it makes no difference. And hopefully for you, it shouldn't make any difference. You know, long term, we know what's going to happen with the price action of Bitcoin. We know it's going to be going up. And, and we know the trajectory and the path we're on. So as long as you can zoom out and not really worry about the volatility when it goes down or not what's happening, you get bored. Um, you know, obviously we all love it when it goes up and it gets exciting and, you know, all the rest of it. So, um, but the key is just to try and keep a level, level head um, with all these things. So that was it really, guys. I just wanted a quick update on that. ETF, spot Bitcoin ETF, um, and the Ethereum ETF is going live tomorrow in Hong Kong. Um, so, yeah, let's see what happens. Um, yeah, it's going to be an interesting time. Um, I'll get, I'm going to do another video if I can, uh, which is what I was planning to do. But uh, keep tuning in for that. Um, really talking about why, why do projects need to have a coin? Why do projects need to have something associated with it? Get off topic here, but I'll just quickly to give you a sneak peek. Bitcoin is the ultimate money. Everything else, as far as I see it, is a technology. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. But the question is, why does everything else need a coin? And I'm going to answer that shortly. So keep tuned in. Listen, guys, I love you and leave you. Really appreciate the support. Like I said, like, subscribe, do all those amazing things. Join me for my ramblings in the car as I drive between whatever I'm doing. Um, and I really appreciate all the support. So uh, yeah, keep tuning in guys. I'll catch you later. Take care.